Excel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, June 2022, Question 6. Figure 2 shows a sketch of part of the curve with equation y equals f of x, where f of x equals 8 sine half x minus 3x plus 9. x is larger than 0, and x is measured in radians. The point p, shown in figure 2, is a local maximum point on the curve. Using calculus and the sketch in figure 2, we need to find the x-coordinate of p, giving our answer to three significant figures. So as p is a local maximum, we're going to take our f of x, differentiate it to get f dash x. We're going to set this equal to 0. So we've got 8 sine half x. We're going to differentiate that. The differential of sine is cos. Now as we've got that half x inside the sine, the multiple for the half is going to come out to the front. So that will become a half times 8 cos half x. Minus 3x differentiates to minus 3 and a 9 differentiates to 0. So f dash x is going to equal 4 cos half x minus 3. We're now going to set this equal to 0 and solve it for x. So if 4 cos half x minus 3 equals 0, cos half x must equal 3 quarters. Using our calculator to do the inverse cos of 3 quarters, we get that half x is equal to 0.7227. Now this is the first value. Looking at our graph, we can see that we've got a maximum quite close to the y-axis. We've then got a minimum, and then we get to p at the maximum. So p is going to be our third value. So if the first value that the calculator gives us is 0.7227, the next one by the symmetry of cos is going to be 2 pi minus 0.7227. And the third value, we've got that repetition every 2 pi. So the third value is going to be 0.7227 plus 2 pi. So we've got that half x is equal to 0.7227 for the first maximum, 5.5604 for the minimum, and 7.0059 for the maximum that we're after. So if half of x equals the 7.0059, x is going to equal 2 times that. So the x that we need is 14.0 to three significant figures. The curve crosses the x-axis at x equals alpha, as shown in figure 2. Given that to three decimal places, f of 4 equals 4.274, and f of 5 equals minus 1.212, for part b, we need to explain why alpha must lie in the interval 4 to 5. So there's two things we need to look at for this one. We need to compare the functions to 0, that's our first bit. Well, f of 4 is 4.2, so that's larger than 0 f of 5 is minus 1.212, so that's smaller than 0. So we've shown that we've got a change of sign. The other thing that we've got to remember to put down, this is really important to get this mark, we need to state that the function is continuous. For part C, taking x0 equals 5 as a first approximation to alpha, we need to apply the newton raphson method once to f of x, to obtain a second approximation to alpha. We need to show our method and give our answer to three significant figures. Our formula for the newton raphson method is x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 over f dash of x0. So we're told in the question that x0 equals 5. We've got our function in the question. So f of 5 is 8 sine 5 over 2 minus 3 times 5 plus 9. Putting this into a calculator it gives us minus 1.21222847. So I've written down all of the digits from the calculator here just so we don't lose any accuracy when we put them in to the equation above. You can store this on your calculator if that's easier or you can put all this together in one massive equation again if you find that easier. But we've just got to be really careful with rounding errors. f dash of x we worked that out in the first question. So f dash of 5 is equal to 4 cos 5 over 2 minus 3, which is minus 6.20457 So we can now put these three values into our equation. So x1 is going to be equal to 5 minus, minus 1.21, so on, over minus 6.20. Putting this into the calculator gives us an answer of 
to three significant figures. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.